everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Wiredogs Tech, back with another video for you guys. Today's video, we are in Try Hack Me. This is the SOC Level 1 Learning Path. This is the Cyber Defensive Frameworks Module. And this is the Eviction Room. Unearth the monster from under your bed. Hopefully, you're all having an awesome day today and ready to learn something. So, let's go ahead and dive into it. Task 1. Understand the Adversary. Sonny is a SOC analyst at E-Corp, which manufactures rare earth metals for government and non-government clients. She receives a classified intelligence report that informs her that an APT group, APT-28, might be trying to attack organizations similar to E-Corp. To act on this intelligence, she must use the MITRE ATT&CK navigator to identify the TTPs used by the APT group to ensure it has not already intruded into the network and to stop it if it has Okay, um, please visit this link to check out the MITRE ATT&CK navigator layer for the APT group and answer the following questions below. I already have it open, another tab here, so let's take a look at these questions. What is the technique used by the APT to both perform recon and gain initial access? All right, let's go ahead and flip back over here. And if we take a look here, this is the navigator they're talking about. Okay, so we can scroll Side to side here, you can see all these things highlighted. So I'm assuming that is what we're going to be using here to answer these questions, right? So let's take a look at the first one here, reconnaissance. You got phishing for information here. Yes, it has information about this as you hover over it. And then it goes into spear phishing link, okay? And then it also said uh, initial access. So if we check out initial access and try to compare these two here. So phishing, spear phishing link, and then it has spear phishing link over here as well. So that looks like what they are wanting for that particular answer. So let's go ahead and put this in. Spear phishing link, awesome. Sonny identified that the APT might have moved forward from the recon phase. Which accounts might the APT compromise while developing resources? So let's flip back over here and take a look. And if we look at initial access, right, so they've already gained entry into this environment. If we go down here, it looks like they're maybe talking about cloud accounts, possibly. So let's make sure. Actually, no, let's flip. it says resource development, so it should be email accounts. Yeah, it should be email accounts. There we go. Ecorp has found that the APT might have gained initial access using social engineering to make the user execute code for the threat actor. Sony wants to identify if the APT was also successful in execution. What two techniques of user execution should Sony look out for? Answer format technique one and technique two. Okay, so let's take a look here. So we need to figure out the two techniques for user execution. And let's flip back over here. And let's go ahead and scroll around here. Execution, all right. So user execution here. It says 14 techniques. And let's scroll down. As we scroll down on execution, we can see malicious file and malicious link. And it says user execution. So this should be what they're looking for here. Let's flip back over here and type this in. Okay. Next one says, if the above technique was successful, which scripting interpreters should Sunny search for to identify successful execution? All right, so it says scripting interpreters. All right, and we saw that earlier up here, right? Yeah, PowerShell and Windows Command Shell looks like what they're wanting here. So let's try that. There we go. While looking at the scripting, Interpreters identified in Q4, Sunny found some obfuscated scripts that changed the registry. Assuming these changes are for maintenance persistent or maintaining persistence, which registry keys should Sunny observe to track these changes? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at those persistence. And then it says, okay, registry keys right here. All right. And let's go ahead and look in here. All right, so it should be, I'm assuming it's this registry run, run keys is what they're looking for for this one here. All right, so let's go ahead and plug that in. All right, 
Uh, Sony identified that the APT executes system binaries to evade defenses. Which system binaries execution should Sony scrutinize for proxy execution? All right, so now we're looking into execution to evade defenses. And let's go over here. Let's go and take a look here for defense evasion. Okay, this is under defense evasion. And let's check it out. Okay, let's see here. Well, there's bootkit down there. Run DLL 32. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Be sure to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Once you subscribe, be sure to hit that notification bell. All right, so you know every time I post a new video. As you can see here, most people that view my videos, view my channel, are not subscribed. Now, if you do subscribe, it will help me get into the YouTube algorithm so that we can continue to grow our glorious community here. As always, thank you all for taking the time to watch. Have a nice day and enjoy the video. System binary proxy execution. So uh, run DLL32 is what they're looking for here. Okay. So Sony identified TCP dump on one of the compromised hosts, assuming this was placed there by the threat actor. Which technique might the APT be using here for discovery? So let's go back and scroll up again. So defense evasion, discovery. There we go. And it says TCP dump. Network sniffing is probably going to be what that is because that's what that tool is used for, looking at network packets and stuff like that. There we go. It looks like the APT archived lateral movement, or sorry, achieved lateral movement by exploiting uh, remote services. Which remote services should Sunny observe to identify APT activity traces? Interesting. Okay, so we got lateral movement by remote services, then activity traces. So let's take a look up here again. If you scroll down, you can see remote services here, and then the one that's highlighted is SMB forward slash Windows admin shares. So that's what they're looking for here. I forgot what it was. Windows admin shares. Okay. It looked like the primary goal of the APT was to steal intellectual property, also known as IP, from eCorp's information repositories. Which information repository can be likely target of APT? So let's go ahead and take a look again. And that would go under, let's see, here, repositories. So probably SharePoint is what they're looking for here. Let's see here. Well, there's code repositories. I wonder why that's not highlighted. Interesting. Let's try that SharePoint. Looks like what they're looking for here. Because you can upload all kinds of files and stuff to SharePoint. And this is a treasure trove, by the way. If you have SharePoint in your environment, go ahead and take a look in there for anything that an attacker will look for, like um, API keys, documents that contain those, documents containing passwords, stuff like that. You'll be surprised what you find out inside of SharePoint. You should also build some type of detection capabilities around SharePoint as well for when everyone, when anyone's in there doing suspicious searches or queries, right? So you want to trigger on stuff like that in your environment to make sure it's not malicious. The VPN stuff too, they'll be looking at SharePoint for VPN related documentation, but let's continue on. Although the APT had collected the data, it could not connect to the C2 for data exfiltration to thwart any attempts to do that. What types of proxy might the APT use? Okay, so C2 data exfil and a proxy. So let's go and take a look here, exfiltration. So this is the way they would do exfiltration. If we go back one to command and control, since we're talking about C2 stuff, we'll scroll down here and take a look here. And it says proxy, and it did say something about proxies, right? Yes. What types of proxy might the APT use? So if we take a look the, at the proxies here, it says external proxy and then multi-hot proxy. So that should be what we're looking for here. There we go. So we're done with that. It says, congratulations. You have helped Sunny successfully thwart the APT's nefarious designs by stopping it from achieving its goal of stealing the IP of eCorp. Awesome. So we're done with this room here.
And that was um, not too bad. Uh, it probably could have been explained a little bit better going through here because this, if you're not used to looking at this navigator thing here, it can get a little bit confusing with all this information and, inf and stuff in here, which is why you should play around with this at your own leisure. Familiarize yourself with the process and all these items in there if you plan on using that in your environment. So let's, okay, let's go back here. Oh, nice, got a badge. But anyway, so we learned quite a bit in here, learn how to work our way through this uh, navigator thing here. And then also something that could relate to your environment if you're on the blue team side of things, going through an investigation process, right? Anyway, that wraps up this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell as well so you know anytime I post to the channel. Thank you all for your continued support. Have a nice day, and I will see you later.